Now I'm here with Rose. There's all kinds of different roses. Wild roses, ones you grow in the garden. This is a rugosa rose. But you can use the petals and you can use the hips and all of them in the same way. Uh, what we do, which is a lot of fun, is we pick the petals of these rose flowers just like this. We pick these and we fill a jar, uh, let's say a mason jar, all the way up. Nice light pack. And we pour honey in it. And then we can turn that, fill it with honey, turn that over every couple days. And a few days later, you can open that up and it's that honey infused with rose just tastes amazing. And you also get all the great medicinal qualities infused in there as well, even topically. I mean, honey in itself is amazing topically, what it can do, burns, antiseptic and all. And then you add on top of that the qualities of the rose. And not only do you get something really tasty you can put on your scones, you can also have some great topical burn remedy, an antiseptic remedy that you could use for all sorts of things. And where, as the rose, of course, says that we have the petals here and then the hips form, uh, they're not red yet because I'm in the summertime, but the hips right here, I'll show you that in a second up close. And then um, you can chop those up, put them in a jar, and you can make a vinegar with that like we do on Learning Herbs. And that's really high in vitamin C. So rose is very high in vitamin C. So those are a couple of things that you can uh, do with rose. You can also use the rose hips uh, in, in, uh, in honey. And if you live in a place, let's say, on the east coast, somewhere where it really frosts over, Midwest, uh, those, those rose hips in the wintertime are a little shriveled up. They're almost like preserved there on the actual plant. You can take those and eat those to get the zing of vitamin C. So let's show the rose up close. The rose is in the rose family. And all members of the rose family, like cherries, apples, mountain ashes, and so many others. Uh, oh boy, that smells really good. It's very fragrant. I uh, have five petals, and you see the rose hip forming there. It'll turn red. And these aren't leaves, but leaflets. It's alternate branching. That looks opposite but it's actually alternate because these are leaf, that's one whole leaf. This whole thing is one whole leaf. And then it goes to the stem there where it's alternate. This is a rugosa rose. It's very prickly, so I'm not going to put my hand in there. And um, so that's characteristics of members of the rose family.